Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we have a video of uh, taking a boat ride. Um, I didn't actually go to the lake house. This is on the river. Uh, so I've just got a couple of clips and stuff like that. Not a whole lot happened. I wanted to see if I could catch a bunch of water type Pokemon, but it just didn't happen. I had to pop an incense and not a lot of the Pokemon that spawned were water types. As you can see here to start off, we have an Oddish. Uh, in this video, there's kind of two parts. There's this part where I'm going to be post uh and talking, and then there's an evolution and power-up at the end. Uh, I've just decided to do it more in that format because I don't think you guys want to necessarily watch me evolve like Pidgeys and Weedles, and really those are what make videos of evolving uh, long. Uh, eventually here, coming up soon, I'm going to have a video with uh, two new evolutions in it. Um, I'm just kind of biding my time with them. I haven't evolved them yet. I want to see if maybe I can optimize them a little bit more, get a little bit higher CP uh, Pokemon, and then go from there. Uh, but it's ha it's uh, Gengar and Victory Bell. Uh, those are what uh, I'm, I'm waiting to evolve right now. Uh, Haunt or Gengar more than anything. I think I'm set on the Victory Bell. It's more the Gengar at this point. Uh, that I want to see. Maybe I could get a little bit higher CP Pokemon out of that. Uh, there was a lot of Raditas, Weedles, uh, Pidgeys on this trip. I didn't show you everything. There's also some really nice egg hatching, including two 10KM eggs that are hatched at the end. Uh, I think that I hatched like a 2K, uh, 6, 5Ks, and a 10K, something like that. that that's something like that is what I hatched. Um, I'm not entirely sure, I don't remember exactly what I hatched, but uh, it did work. Here's a water Pokemon, one of the few, not few, but one of the more limited water Pokemon I found, which was a Goldeen, uh, not necessarily the water Pokemon that I was looking for. Uh, I know in around this river people have been finding Dratinis and stuff like that, so I was hoping I'd find one of those, but, did, but alas, I did not find a Dratini we, uh, I, I think I went through two incenses, and I just wasn't finding a whole lot of, I don't know, stuff that I really needed or stuff that I really wanted, so I just decided to, to stop at two incenses and not keep going. Could have easily kept going, but I don't think, uh, I, I needed to, um, I haven't had good luck with water, like, what, like, I think I took one boat, two boat rides, and they just haven't gone well for finding Pokemon, uh, the first time I didn't pop an incense, I didn't find any Pokemon, and this time I popped an incense, and I really only found Pokemon because I had the incense on, uh, here's a Venonat, um, I've been catching a lot of Venonats recently. I have I, I evolved into two, or I evolved into one more Venomoth, and then I caught a Men Venomoth. Uh, so the Venonats, which usually be kind of rare for me, um, I didn't find that many, are actually becoming a little bit more common, uh, which I guess I would rather find a Venonat than a Weedle. But a Venonat, still not anything good. I, I think after every couple of clips, I show you just a different part of the river uh, that we're, sh we're strolling down here. Um, took out uh, a friend's boat, so this isn't my boat, but I know how to, you know, do all of that different stuff. Uh, because obviously I live in a lake house and I know how to drive a boat. It's not that difficult, but no, I wanted to say it's a friend's boat, and uh, it's a really nice boat. He redid the whole entire boat, so it's pretty darn cool. This is this is the best part here. We found a bunch of magic carps and all that. Still on that grind for Gyarados. I think I have like 150 candies or something like that. I'm still working my way towards Gyarados, and I think my Gyarados, uh, its average CP, if I have all my strongest magic carp, was like a 16 or 1650. Uh, Pokemon, but this was the best little haul here. We got three Pokemon in a row, uh, but it was kind of cool. This boat, uh, he redid it from scratch. It's like completely, he did all the re, well, I guess he didn't do the re upholstering for the, the seats, but other than that, he redid it all. He took up the floor and put down a uh, new floor, um, and it, it's just a really nicely done boat uh, that he rebuilt, and uh, it's just kind of fun to go out in it because you know, he put all the time and effort into rebuilding. It's just not a boat he bought. 
uh, which which be which is kind of cool to me. I don't know if it's cool to anybody else, but it's kind of cool to me. Uh, I I did show in here a couple of Pidgeys, Raditas, and Weedles, but trust me, trust me, we found a ton more of those. So uh, don't worry, it's not like I only found like two Pidgeys in this journey. No, we found a ton of Pidgeys, a ton of Weedles, and a ton of Raditas, and I got kind of sick of them. I think here we go. Okay, here's an egg hatching off here. Um, I believe this is a 5km egg. Uh, obviously always looking for Growlithe and full picks, but an Ekans is not bad. Um, I saw my first Ekans in the wild last night. I always open up my app at home every couple hours if I'm on my phone doing Twitter or texting or doing whatever. And there was actually just an, Ek an Ekans chilling at my house. There was an Ekans and an Eevee just chilling at my, uh, at my house. So... That would, there's always an Eevee at my house. Uh, it seems like it, it's pretty consistent spawn. I get about three Eevees at my house every day. Now, I miss two of them usually every day, but I can usually catch one of them, which is good enough. Uh, and they're usually high. Like, now they're all over 500 usually, the ones that I found. I think I found a 200 one this morning. Uh, but usually they're all well over uh, 450, 500. Here's another egg popping off. I believe this is another 5km egg too. These might all be 5km except for the final two. Uh, there's a Mankey, uh, a pretty high Mankey. Uh, I had caught a Mankey before, but it was like in the 100, so it was pretty useless. And uh, so I'm, I'm happy to hatch that stuff out of eggs. I'm happy to hatch just about anything out of a 5km egg. Because I don't have an extreme amount, even if I do have the the evolution of that 5km, most of them aren't really that high, seeing as uh, most of my high Pokemon either didn't evolve or they... Uh, or, or I would like another one. Like, like I don't care. I'll take more Eeveelutions, Golduck, not a big deal, a Starmie... I mean, there's just a bunch of different Electabuzz, Hypnos, Vile Plume's only a 1243, which I don't consider to be anywhere near good. I'm level, I'm I'm level 24. I should, I should be rolling. I should have like a bunch of 2,000 Pokemon, but I don't. Here's another egg popping off. I think the eggs are the most exciting part about this video, even though it was fun to go out on the boat. Uh, the Nidoran male here. We, I could actually get a Nido Queen. But I'm not going to get her just yet. I'm going to try to get an optimal Nido Queen. I want to get at least one that's 1500 plus. Uh, and so here's uh, a Nido Ran female popping off. I'm always happy to get Nido Ran males and females because I know you can see there that's only 57 Nido Ran female candies. And it's only been a couple days since I recorded this video. So. I got a ton of Nidoran female candies in the last couple of days. I think I hatched two out of an e two out of eggs back to back, and then I caught a couple, and that was enough to make up that 43 that I needed. Uh, let me get you the exact number that I currently have for Nidoran female candies. Uh, I have 104. I want to get 21 more so I can just. Uh, Evolve my 490 Nidoran female into a Nidorina and then pop that up into a Nido Queen. I think that'll probably be when uh, when I do a little bit of an uh, an evolving, getting Gengar, Nido Queen, uh, maybe even Nido King. Who knows? Here's a new Pokemon for me. I was really excited. Didn't have a Lucky Egg popped, but this is a Lickitung. Uh, it's not the greatest Lickitung in the world. It's only a 900. I do power it up, I think, in the second part of this video. I think I get it over 1,000 uh, because I like to have stuff over 1,000. Then we have a Weedle, which is not very exciting, but we do have, we, we get a Weedle here. Um, I uh, I haven't gotten... It seems like they've turned down the boost for... The, or the... Not the boost. The uh, spawn rate for 10km eggs when you spin... Uh, when you spin a Pokestop, I just haven't had a 10km egg since this video, and I've hatched a lot of eggs, and I've gotten a lot of eggs, so I don't I don't know if, but I guess I went like the first two weeks or so without getting a 10km egg, so it could just be very likely that I suck, but I've had a couple of other people um, say that they think it's changed. Um, I had a friend who's, ha who's gotten like, 
I think he's gotten like 15 10k on Megs. Now with that, he's hatched three Eevees and uh, uh, what was the other? What's the other sucky one? Oh, three Onyx. He's gotten three Onyx and three Eevees, which is really not good. Uh, so it kind of all levels out because he's gotten some sucky Pokemon, but uh, he has gotten 15 and he hasn't been finding many recently. Uh, I did miss that Krabby. There was a Krabby. There's a water type. Here we have a Staryu. I think it wouldn't let me... T I've been having issues with Pokemon Go and, like, tapping on Pokemon, and it won't it won't select them. Like, it won't let me catch them or go into the animation. I have to keep tapping. And eventually it does go, but it's a little bit slow, and it, it hasn't been working great for me. Uh, the boat actually did a decent job of hatching these eggs. I don't think we drove... Mu or we we rode much further than the the kilometers needed um i didn't actually need like the full 10 kilometers or the full five kilometers for a lot of these um i had them a chunk of the way here is the first 10k m egg popping off and i got an ev which is very disappointing um i might nickname the ev disappointment or <laughs> something because it's so disappointing getting an ev out of a 10k m egg and then I believe here is the final egg, the final 10km egg, and we, guys, we finally got a Pokemon on the hunting for list, and I got Lapras. I was so stoked to get Lapras. I'm still excited to get Lapras. And then in the second part, we're going to power it up a little bit here because I wanted to see exactly what uh, powering it up did for it and it actually gives it 41 so we're gonna be powering that up in the second part of this video uh, as well as doing some evolutions and doing um, some stuff like that just some simple stuff I wish I would have had a lucky egg on there it would have been 3400 experience uh, but Lapras is my strongest Pokemon as of right now I do power it up all the way as far as I can um, I think I powered, yeah, I powered it up over 1700 here, but I finished the power up in the second part of the video, so I will catch you all then. Alright guys, so we are back home after our boat trip, and so I'm going to do a little bit of a post uh, recording here. Uh, you guys actually, you know, you saw the commentary of the whole entire trip, and now we're going to go and do a couple of things real quick here just to wrap up the video. Uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to do, including power up my Lapras. Uh, I've got other things to evolve, but there is a couple of things that I wanted to show as well as evolve. We do need to pop a lucky egg here because we are going to do a little bit of evolutions. Not too much uh, and nothing crazy. Uh, not all of my evolutions, but we will be doing some of them. Uh, so I've decided with the Nidoran males and females, we did catch, I think, one apiece today. Uh, I am going to just wait until I get 125 candies. Then I'm going to evolve my highest Nidoran male or female. Actually, I think, did we get four of each? Because I hatched two. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Or not four of each, two of each, because I... I was holding up four, like, the number. Okay, that's not important. But I'm going to hold, save up to 125 and then evolve from there uh, and just see what the highest one I can get. Uh, I can evolve Bellsprout into Victory Bell, or Weeping Bell into Victory Bell, but I'm waiting for three more candies. We'll go ahead and evolve this Bell. Well, no, because i got to catch one more Bellsprout, so my luck would be I would catch a higher than 621. Uh, so we're going to hold off on that. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and evolve that Weeping Bell into a Victory Bell. Uh, and that'll be the first Victory Bell. Uh, we are so close uh, with Haunter to Gengar. 91 out of 100. Getting so close. Um, I think I went past. Where's Meowth? Is Meowth up here? No. Okay, I did not miss Meowth. I want to evolve Meowth. Oh, there he is. Okay, I want to evolve this Meowth into a Persian. Uh, this was one of the evolutions I wanted to do here. Just wanted to get Persian checked off the list. Uh, and Meowth, I, don't, I probably would forget that I had this Meowth to evolve. That's why I wanted to do it. I noticed it today. Um, we hatched, did we hatch a Meowth in the episode? I think we hatched a Meowth in the episode. And that gave me the candies I needed. Uh, so I thought I would evolve it here because I, for, I would forget probably that I had this Persian. 920 Persian, not the greatest, not over a thousand like I would have liked, but still not bad. Working on the main keys, we hatched that 491 main key. 
Uh, I don't, th is there another evolution that I wanted to do in this episode? Oh yes, we wanted, I wanted to evolve a star you, this 588 star you into a star me, uh, cause you guys saw today that we were able to get, uh, that up. Let me go ahead. I did not have the, oh no, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. Let's evolve this star me, or star you into a star me. But I thought I'd do a little bit of evolutions, and I wanted to power up this Lapras anyway. Uh, so there were a couple evolutions from the video that I thought I should do and show you guys at least. So we have a star me. I'm hoping for like a 1300 star me. Uh, what's it going to be? All right, 1392. I will take that all day. Let me power it up once, get it to 1400. There we go, 1422 star me. I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that all around. Um, let's see here, Lapras. Let's go ahead. I want to evolve these Eevees. Uh, we have some God Eevees here, uh, 653 and a 613. The 613 here, um, actually, I can only evolve one of these, so I'm going to evolve the 613 in this episode. Uh, I just want to evolve it up into a Jolteon because I don't have a good Jolteon. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Sparky, go ahead and evolve this bad boy up. I'm saving the 653. I want to evolve it into a Vaporeon, I think. But I'm not entirely sold if I want to evolve it or if I just want to keep it. Um, there's no actual release date for Gen 2. Or not Gen... Okay, I don't know what's happening, dude. It's not working for... There was an update today... Or, the, yeah, for the day that I recorded this, 1522, that's still a pretty good um, Flareon. I could discard those two Eevees, but I don't know why I'm not getting... I don't have any named Sparky or all of that different stuff. I have them named different stuff just for that specific reason, but I guess we have a 1522 Flareon now. I don't have a nickname for you, for so for, or I can't think of one at this second, so yours is going to be Flareon for now. Uh, and now, the major part that I wanted to do, we've got a ton of candies, a ton of stardust. Not a ton of stardust. I've actually lost a lot of stardust. Let's power up this Lapras. Actually, an injured Lapras, because he was at a gym. Up to 1805. This Lapras is going to be beastly. I want it to be my first over 2,000 Pokemon, which I think it's, it's going to easily get there. It's going to easily get there. Up to 1928. 1969 and 2000 2010 and I can't power it up anymore I'm not high enough level so 2010 Lapras I did refill all of my eggs here uh, they're actually getting close to hatching while I was driving around getting more eggs and I actually got pretty unlucky got a bunch of 2km eggs but there is some 2km stuff I'm looking for magic carps I think magic carps top the list because I'm working towards that Gyarados I guess I can show you that progress 115 out of 400, not obviously anywhere near getting a Gyarados, but we are definitely on that grind. 130 Magic Carp is my highest right now. I have no idea what kind of Gyarados I get out of that. Um, let's see here, what can I, I could power this Magic Carp up. So I'm assuming you could get like a 200 Magic Carp is the top tier probably. Um, but that is going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you guys haven't, and welcome the new Lapras to the team. Uh, I'll have a nickname for it. Probably going to be, the nickname's probably going to be Nessie. Uh, I want to get another Lapras so I can have one nickname, La or Nessie, and I don't know. I like to have one named what it actually is, and then I like to have a nicknamed one, especially in this app, because these Pokemon are going to be with me for, like, a long time. It's not gonna, It's not like the games where I play the games for... A, a year don't even play them for a year usually it's like three or four months and then they get transferred to pokemon bank and then they just get kind of left there uh these guys will be pretty much anything over a thousand cp will probably stay with me for like the whole game uh but there's four thousand xp we are 74 uh thousand four hundred twenty seven uh out of the 125 thousand we need uh we are now uh, we have 509,000 total XP. That is crazy. Uh, they did add a few new uh, uh, medals here. I don't think any of those are important. Also, you can now customize your character, like redo them. You, actually, you can actually change your gender 
if you wanted to. No, no, I don't. Okay, good. I didn't want to edit my character. I, I will go back and edit it because there are a couple things. But what this probably means is we may be getting new items into the game eventually, like new customizations and stuff like that. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, it's been suggested before, but like new customizations as you level up and stuff like that. But guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I didn't get to show this in the video. It was disappointing. I caught it before I could get to recording. But I caught my very first Dratini, guys. 285. Not a good Dratini, but first Dratini. Hopefully first of many on that grind to Dragonite since I'm... I've come to the conclusion I'm not finding a wild Dragonite like other people. Like, that's just not going to happen. So, I'm going to have to get 120 Dratini, 25 Dratini candies in order to get him. And the grind, you know, obviously has to start with one Dratini. So, we now have that one Dratini. And with the Lapras now, now that we've acquired Lapras, um, I always think of Lapras as a she, but we don't have genders in this game right now. Uh, but... Lapras will now be replaced on the hunting list because we have now gotten a Lapras. Now, I do want another Lapras at least, but we can replace Lapras on the hunting list. Have no idea what I'm going to replace it with. Probably Magmar, but don't hold me to that. Uh, also, oh, I keep forgetting things. We hatched a Lickitung. I wanted to get this guy up to a 1,000 so he wouldn't be for... Oh, you're going to take five. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Licky Tongue doesn't evolve, so we can get Licky Tongue up to a thousand, which is what I want to do. Because pretty much, I only look at the Pokemon that are over a thousand, and I really only remember the Pokemon that are over a thousand. So I like to get some of them over a thousand. So I, I know they're there. I need to start grinding up more Stardust. Uh, just need to get back on that grind, get back up over a hundred k, so I can continue to level up, power up Pokemon when I get them, especially like Lapras and Electabuzz and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out, guys.